Hello, welcome back to the Mark Janot Show, the tech show about hacking. In this video, I'm going to go over FBI's most wanted Russian hacker. I'm going to talk about a little bit of his bio and the significance to you and I. So without further ado, this is interesting. We're going dark. Maxim uh, Yukabets, the suspected leader of Evil Corp, is the FBI's most wanted cyber criminal. His whereabouts are no secret. Yet there's little to no chance we'll see him in handcuffs. Mid-November of last year, 2022, law enforcement scored a victory by arresting a Vyacheslav, sorry, tank, uh, Benchukov, a cyber criminal who enjoyed a lavish lifestyle for nearly 10 years despite being on the FBI's most wanted cyber criminal list. Tank, also known as Slava Rich, was arrested in Geneva for acting as the leader of the Jabber Zeus group. Zeus is malicious software that captures bank account numbers, passwords, personal identification numbers, and other information necessary to log into online bank banking accounts. While Penchikov will stand before the court to answer allegations about a wide-ranging racketeering enterprise and scheme that installed Zeus software on victims' computers, another infamous hacker associated with Zeus, Maxime Victor... Ovich Yukabits is still out of law enforcement's reach. Yukabits is a true 21st century cyber criminal who, with the stroke of a key and the click of a mouse, committed cyber crimes across the globe. Former Assistant Attorney General Brian uh, said in 2019, five million dollar reward. Yukabits is wanted for his involvement with computer malware that infected tens of thousands of computers in North America and Europe resulting in financial losses amounting to tens of millions of dollars. In 2019, the U.S. Treasury sanctioned 17 individuals, including Maxime Yukabits, in an attempt to disrupt the massive phishing campaigns orchestrated by the Russian-based hacker group. The Treasury said Yukabits served as Evil Corp's leader, responsible for managing and supervising the group's malicious cyber activities. Prior to serving in this leadership role for Evil Corp, Yukabits was also directly associated with uh, Evgeny Bokachev, which is a previously designed Russian cybercriminal responsible for the distribution of the Zeus Jabber Zeus and Game Over Zeus malware schemes. In particular, Yukabits was responsible for recruiting and managing a network of individuals responsible for facilitating the movement of money illicitly gained through the efforts spearheaded by Evgeniev Bokachev. Sorry if I botched the name, sir. It said, The Treasury also clearly stated that Yukabits had directly assisted the Russian government. As of 2017, Yukabits was working for the Russian Federal Security Service, FSB. One of Russia's leading intelligence organizations provided material assistance to the FSB and was tasked uh, to work on projects for the Russian state. To include acquiring confidential documents through cyber-enabled means and conducting cyber-enabled operations on its behalf, the U.S. is offering a reward of up to $5 million for information leading to the arrest and conviction of Yuka Betts. Yuka Betts and his co-conspirators did not discriminate in their choice of targets. For example, the Nebraska complaint alleges that Yuka Betts was directly involved in the theft of tens of thousands of dollars from a religious order of Frank's uh, Scan sisters. Uh, Benny Cole said, uh, so Dridex Malware. Evil Corp is responsible for developing and distributing the Dridex Malware designed to steal banking credentials. According to Cybersecurity and Infrastructure Security Agency, CISA, the original version of Dridex first appeared in 2012 and by 2015 had become one of the most prevalent financial Trojans. In 2014 alone, Dridex operators were sending 15,000 spam emails each day in an attempt to infect victims' devices, mainly in the US and the UK. This aggressive spam campaign resulted in tens of millions of dollars in losses in both countries. According to the Treasury, as of 2016, Evil Corp had harvested banking credentials from customers at approximately 300 banks and financial institutions in over 40 countries, making the group one of the main financial threats faced by businesses. In particular, Evil Corp heavily targets financial service 
services sector organizations located in, located in the United States and the United Kingdom. Through their use of Dridex malware, Evil Corp has illicitly earned at least $100 million, though it's likely that the total of their illicit proceeds is significantly higher. Okay, so let's talk about the lavish lifestyle. If Yugabits ever receives the safety of Russia, he will be arrested and extradited to the US. However, while in Russia, he can enjoy his lavish lifestyle. International law enforcement flooded the media with pictures of Yukovitz driving his 200,000 worth Lamborghini with a custom license plate that reads thief. Wow. And spinning circles with his car right in front of Moscow's police. He he's also splashing out pet tigers and lion cubs going on spa vacations that cost up to million rubles a week. His wedding to the daughter of ex FSB officer Edward Benz sorry, Edward B., is rumored to have cost a minimum of 300000 Moscow-based Caramel Wedding Service even flooded the internet with footage from the extravagant celebration. His bride poses in many pictures, yet Yukabits, without exception, is always turned away from the lens. So let's Kremlin's protege. He's roaming free in Russia and he's not in prison and Russia is taking no steps to arrest him. Irina T., a geopolitical analyst specializing in information security and cybersecurity told Cyber News. The Treasury alleges that Yukobits has developed a relationship with all three major Russian intelligence services. Russia is more than a haven for cyber criminals. I would say that there is a direct link between some of these cyber groups and intelligence. Uh, Sukerman reckons. Cyber gangs carry out some operations on behalf of the government and, in exchange, authorities help them evade international law enforcement and make money from their illicit activities. Yukobits is also rumored to be close friends with Dmitry Peskov, the press secretary for Russian President Vladimir Putin. Location of these individuals is known to authorities and it could be easy to arrest them, throw them in prison, or make them disappear but they are serving their Kremlin's purpose and there's an apparent intentional plan structure to everything happening, uh, Sukerman said. Uh, so that is an overview of Yukobits, uh, what he's done, what he continues to do. What do you think of the FBI's most wanted Russian hacker? I want to know your opinion. Please hit the subscribe button. Please hit the notification bell. I love you. Stay safe. See you on the next video.